So we've seen um, kind of a soft uh, upfront around television. Uh, we're seeing a movement to untra non-traditional TV channels, yep. platforms. Um, you know, given your perspective, your global perspective, and, and now your perspective in the U.S., um, you know, what are the opportunities and the challenges for brands in this new TV world? And well, how does the new, the traditional TV offering negotiated through the upfront changing? Well, you know, de depending on where around the world you sort of uh, look to, uh, you know, there are different, m you know, macro uh, conditions that are having, you know, impacts, you know, whether they be, you know, client confidence or, or consumer confidence, you know, they're having an impact. But I think it's important to, to make the point that uh, for brands to uh, navigate through this, this change, they need to embrace traditional and help traditional become uh, more digital in nature. And it's important to also say that the television and the television uh, organisations that we deal with are also brands and they also need to uh, embrace and, and what we're seeing around the world is that they are and there's a huge investment in, um, in, in the TV industry around the next chapter of, of how uh, linear traditional television becomes hybrid and we're seeing that and and over the top is has obviously stimulated that um, we are working with uh, the media in creating uh, solutions we have uh, uh, a product within uh, the media brands portfolio that we refer to as advanced television which is exactly that working with the broadcasters to to curate and, and create uh, uh, hybrid television solutions that uh, enable clients to get the, the best of both worlds through uh, the television organisations that they have been dealing with and partnering with for decades. And uh, that is the beginning of what I think is a two to five year evolution period that will see us uh, redefine and uh, reapply the way in which we engage and transact with television and, and technology has a big part to play. And uh, you know, for all the people throwing stones at the television industry, I would, I would point to the simple fact that they are big businesses, they are robust businesses, they are critical to consumer engagement, and they are uh, sizable businesses in that they can invest in uh, evolving into you know, new uh, types of businesses as the future suggests they will need to. So uh, I'm optimistic. Uh, we are, you know, we're, we're all in on that, and the sense we get from the, the dealings and the discussions we're having with television operators all around the world is that they are now uh, leaning in on that, and, you know, we've got lots of examples where we're seeing what we would call traditional broadcasters doing things that are very not traditional. So just tell us a little bit about, you know, what we might see in advanced TV. Uh, does that mean sending ads to specific home cable boxes? Does it mean to I, uh, IT, uh, IP connected devices? What Give us sort of maybe what might transpire in advanced TV. Well, I think, uh, you know, you, you referenced two sort of uh, key and, and obvious points. So uh, addressable television, addressable messaging is very much uh, at the forefront and is already currently happening. Uh, the, the scope and size of uh, how much addressable television uh, the US market for example uh, will conduct over the years to come will increase no doubt um, how the television organizers stitch the screen ecosystem that their content uh, is viewed on will only enhance that further so that we will have not only the ability to have addressable television but also addressable screens and that uh, that rigor and that granularity uh, make for much more effective and more accountable television channel uh, that we can put on uh, recommendations for clients and can invest in around brands and uh, and the ROI on that will be uh, I think pretty tremendous so uh, you know we, we should all be confident about what that means uh, there is an investment phase that will enable the infrastructure to be built but uh, it's largely already there in prototype and in a small scale where those set-top boxes are actually being leveraged but I, I, ca I can't see how that's going to get any smaller and uh, I think we'll see you know, a big area of uh, focus and investment from a lot of the broadcasters and potentially some new entrants. You know, we, you know, it makes for some really interesting um, 
uh, opportunities for some of the telcos and, and, and the cable operators in, in terms of how and where they can enhance.